Welcome back to the Tomarosa and Clover Mountain Dairy. We got some uh, serious stuff happening this week. It is hot. Very hot. Over 100 right now. And it, it's not even the worst part yet. So soon, uh, over this next week, we're going to have temperatures. They could be as high as 109, 112. I don't even know. I stopped looking at the weather forecast. And now we've just gone into what can we do to uh, make this better for our cows. And us. So we're going to share that with you today. One of the things we did uh, for our yearlings who are normally over the hill on their range uh, is we brought them to the barn. They do have some shade trees. They don't really like to lay under them though. So uh, we cut a hole in the wall, which is something we were planning to do anyway. And uh, put this pen back here in the corner for them and at least gave them a place where they can get out of the sun. And they're hanging out, chewing cud, so must be working good for them. And then we also always have uh, where the cows can come and go out the lane to a pasture area. Uh, they are hanging out during the daytime and we are feeding them some hay just to help keep them uh, in good body condition so they don't have to be out in the terrible heat and we got fans going. Yes, as you can hear, we have fans. We have three fans going right now. And we'll walk outside and show you some other things. We got our mister going. We used this last year. And the cows do stand in the mist uh, sometimes. But we just keep that going. It's available. It doesn't use hardly any water. And then, uh, because we moved the yearlings up, we did have to get another stock tank for up here, but uh, that's something we wanted anyway, so we went ahead and bought it yesterday. So I didn't just cut a hole in the wall. I actually built a door, so uh, we can close it off if needed. Um, but uh, it's something we've been wanting to do for a long time anyway, and I think it turned out pretty good. It's got that rustic uh, barn look to it, doesn't it? And why did we want to have uh, another door into the barn like this? Well, this corner pen, uh, it's always handy. Uh, the yearlings, when they were younger and they were still separated, uh, we had to do some things with some gates to get around the corner. So this will just make it easier to manage the, the different stages of livestock that we have on, on the farm here. We have this heat wave coming onto the farm here, but uh, this is just another, another blow uh, to the springtime. This spring has been the driest spring in over 140 years and that's just because the records only go back that far so technically it's the driest spring on record and so you know we definitely don't have the grass and the hay that we normally would anyway this time of year. Uh, luckily I feel that our fields are, are holding up pretty well uh, considering and a lot of that is due to the management we've been able over the last few years of grazing to get our organic matter up. But uh, it's, it's pretty rough right now. So what are some other things that we can do? Well, uh, we can make sure that the cows are staying cool. If it gets really hot, we can actually uh, hose them down with some water. Uh, even though we have the spritzer, that, that helps. But if it's really hot, that could help more. We also can mix up and give them some electrolyte, which will help during the hottest part of the days. And uh, otherwise, we're just keeping a watch on them, making sure that they're getting enough to eat, that they're chewing their cud, and trying to keep them as cool as possible. That's all we can do. One of the things we did this morning was we actually milked about an hour earlier. It was uh, a more comfortable temperature for the cows and for us uh, workers, too, laboring in the, in the pit there. Uh, so that made it more comfortable. We'll probably keep that up maybe throughout the summer. Um, but I would expect too that the heat, we're going to get a drop in milk production. And that's just to be expected as part of uh, the cows dealing with the heat. I think Carnation is just standing in front of the fan. So we hope that where you are, you're having good weather, and if you're having a lot of heat this summer, that you're doing okay. 
if, if you are in a cooler area, please uh, feel free to send some of that our way. <laughs> and until next time, we'll see you on the Tomarosa. Thanks for watching. Stay cool.